12 fragrances that are affordable and have oud. Let's talk about it. Here's some codes to save you some cash on your next Middle Eastern niche or designer fragrances. What's going on guys? My name is Neeb. Welcome back to Aromatics. Today we're going to be talking about 12 fragrances that all have the note of oud in it. Well, I should really say a cord of oud in it because oud is one of the most expensive raw materials in perfumery. And with a lot of these price ranges, you're not really going to get anything of real oud. You're going to get more than likely something that's synthesized to smell very close to oud. But before you run away, a lot of them actually smell pretty damn close to oud. And really some of the more expensive fragrances might have like one or 2% of actual oud. Basically, these actually smell like decent oud fragrances and they have some oud accord in it. As simple as that. First one I want to mention is dry oud. It's a little bit inky. This is pretty damn unisex. Smells a lot like Ombre Nomad. And the quality of this stuff is crazy good. This is called The Shadow by F.A. Paris. This is the best, the best Ombre Nomad in Spo. I got my boys to smell this bad boy. One of the best inky type of ouds on the market. Ombre Nomad is like 350 bucks. This is like 50 bucks. And honestly, it smells just as high quality. One of my friends actually really fell in love with this. He bought one for himself and for his mother. So ladies, if you like oudy fragrances, you're going to absolutely like this one as well. Warning, you guys, all of these are pretty oudy fragrances, okay? So if you're not into oud, this is a good list to kind of see if you're into it without really hurting your wallets a bit too much. We are going to get to different territories and price ranges and one that does oud sweet, etc. There's an oud fragrance for everybody, but tread carefully in this category of fragrances because oud is typically not the most mass appealing or, you know, not really for everybody. For me, I personally love it. Like I said though, a great way to start or jump into oud fragrances and see if you enjoy it. So next fragrance on this list is a lot for what it is actually. It's I wasn't expecting as much as what it does. A pretty complex fragrance for a relatively affordable price. This is called Nabil Magatir. Magatir has a lot of notes. I mean if I were to list this on the screen, the notes, it would like we would be here for a day or two. But essentially it's got like rose, fruits, there's a lot here okay. It's an oud based fragrance with rose and it smells extremely high end. It's much more than just an oud fragrance, but the heart of it is definitely a oud. Excellent fragrance. This is a lot going on in this one. It's called Magatir. Next on this list is Earthy Praline and Oud and Saffron as well. It's Hartnell. Hartnell is PDM Haltane. This is actually a pretty high-end smelling fragrance as well. And Haltane is really expensive. It's definitely worth the price tag. And the quality of Oud that you're going to get in this versus that is a step down. But for the price point, yeah, it's really good. It's actually really freaking good. This is about eight hours and it's more than just your simple Oud fragrance. There's, like I said, a sweetness from the praline. You get the sparkle from the saffron, much more than just an Oud fragrance. It's earthy, it's Oudy, it's saffron and praline, a sexy fragrance. And women that are into dark fragrances as well you can absolutely rock this this smells like you smell rich with this and i'm talking about the cheapy as well hartnell by fragrance world next one relatively new sleeper fragrance gives me vibes of oud marcuja but it's not as strong or prominent with the whole fruits vibe it kind of smells like that if you were to kind of blanket it by like about 30 percent similar dna not as in your face it doesn't translate into a weaker performing fragrance per se it just muzzles the dna and i think that it's because of the just sheer quality of ingredients in something that's like 300 bucks versus this which is around 30 to 40 bucks and it's called saud by asdaf this is extremely unisex my god this is intoxicating fruits and oud inky oud and fruits like yeah this is really good and unisex as well so oud, check that one out next one is a little bit higher of a price tag but i promise if you get this you will thank me it's worth every bit of the money this is ignite oud by ahmed al maghribi my addiction it smells like cotton candy fruits and inky oud wow like 12 out of 7, man. Like 10 out of freaking 10 is not enough. Seriously. <laughs> this is an excellent one. Ignite Oud. Lasts all day. Women, you could also rock the hell out of this one. Speaking of women, one of the best women-based fragrances that are affordable. This is it right here. Club de Nuit Imperial. Delina Exclusif. Wow. Wow. Vanilla cream, rose, and Oud. Wow. Seriously. Another one that's relatively creamy, actually much more creamy, okay? This one's a bit more uh, spicy than the original, and for that reason, I like it a little bit more than the original. And like I said, because of the fact that this one's more so of a twist, I actually enjoy it a little bit more. The closer one to the actual DNA, it's gonna be Bearcat Satin Oud. 
Bearcat Satin Oud is, in my opinion, a closer DNA, but this one has a little bit more spice, makes it more enjoyable than the original. And this is called Baruch Satin Oud by Mason Alhambra. Like I said, it's that DNA super powdery though, ladies. It's much more rosy powders and vanilla than it is Oud, but the Oud is definitely there. So this one, not bad. And in my opinion, it's a better twist on the DNA. Next one is for gentlemen who want an easier Oud fragrance to get into. This isn't really the star player, the Oud. It's more so around this cardamom, tobacco, some ambers, and then Oud in the backdrop but it's a more wearable type of oud, if you will. If you enjoy cardamom, you're absolutely gonna love this one. And it's for a steal of a deal. This is called Qaid by Latafa. Like I said, man, star player in this one is going to be that tobacco and the cardamom. An excellent fragrance for the price point. And the bottle itself looks pretty cool too. So there you go. Next one is Dry Brittle Woods. This is like the flakiest of ouds, seriously. This is Oudain by Latafa. Also, one of those inky type of ouds as well. Not gonna be the easiest, but the oud scent or the oud accord that this one encaptures is that inky, dry, uh, blue ink, if you will. Almost literally smells like ballpoint ink oud. And that smells pretty high end. It almost smells like it has real oud in this one, for sure. Like a lot of these other ones as well, including the Ahmed al Maghrabi and the fragrance roll, the shadow. But this one in specific, does that ombre nomad type of oud. I'm not gonna say that this is an actual clone of it. Udain by Latafa. It's just dry, inky oud. As simple as that. A really good one though. Next one's by Fragrance World. This isn't necessarily going to be an oud fragrance, but it puts me in that same family or category of fragrances. So churchy, incense vibes. It more so smells like burning oud, if you will. It's Ebon Fume inspired by, and this is Alpha by Fragrance World. This is a spitting image of Ebon Fume. Ebon Fume by Tom Ford is incense and ebony woods essentially and some peppers if you like oud you're absolutely gonna love this fragrance because that's what i do i love this fragrance super intoxicating it's honestly unisex ladies you can also rock this one as well damn pretty damn easy and if you guys can see i have literally two bottles of ibon fume why i have a freaking problem but this one I mean, am I even gonna spray those? Probably not. Really good. So Ebon Fumé is probably the only one on this list that doesn't actually have Oud, but it puts you in that same feeling, in the same vibe, like Oudy, incense resins. It's much more like Bahur that surrounds itself around these resins, essentially. But still, it deserves to be on this list. Cheap, Oudy, incense fragrances. And speaking of cheap, Oudy, incense fragrances, I might as well throw another one in this bad boy. And this smells like a more authentic type of Oud. This is like Middle Eastern Oud, Oud, man. Like, no. I want some Oud, bro. Something masculine. I'll wear this during Ramadan. I'll wear this when I'm, you know, celebrating Eid. Halal vibes all day right here. It's called Sheikh Al Oud by Arda Zafaran. This is a sleeper fragrance. It's so cheap, but it smells like one of the most animalic, authentic Oud fragrances. Seriously. At this price range, I'm extremely surprised at what you get with this uh, fragrance itself. You want to spray this on at least eight times, though, at the price point. It is an Eau de Parfum concentration, so it's there. But to get it to last, yeah, spray this on about eight times you're all set, man. Animalic, oud, authentic smelling, surprisingly so for a stupid price. This one for now is going to be relatively similar case or similar scenario. It's oud, it's saffron, and it's vanilla, and it's called Mozoon by Ahmed Al Maghrabi. This smells a lot like vanilla drowning, oud drowning in vanilla, essentially, with some saffron. Pretty unisex in my opinion, so as simple as that. Lasts all day, vanilla and oud. An excellent fragrance, seriously. My, my palate is kind of craving a little bit more nowadays, but I was absolutely in love with this one. And as an intermediate or even beginner, you're going to as well. Yeah, this is a no-brainer, even for the more experienced. Seriously, seriously good. This one I fell absolutely in love with because of the fact that it does a super expensive fragrance, relatively similar to what this one does, but even more of an expensive fragrance. And it's not really the center player, the Loatian Oud in here. It's got some apple, it's got some vanillic vibes, very intoxicating, sexy, and seductive, and aphrodisiac in here. Honestly, all of these fragrances for me personally have always served as aphrodisiacs. It's always gotten the job done for me. Different notes, different vibes. It's different for everybody, okay? But if you're into Oud or if you're in the Middle East, then these are more likely to be the same case scenario with you as well. But it doesn't mean that if you're in the West, it's not gonna work for you either. Try it, you never know. A lot of these will definitely serve as aphrodisiacs. This one though, I definitely think it will as well. It's called Anaqid by Fragrance World. This is latent exclusive. This bottle right here that's around like 450 bucks, 425 retail, it's now in this $50 bottle, okay? It's got this Loatian Oud. It's basically like super creamy wood, drowning in vanilla with some apple, some geranium, much more than just that, man. The Loatian Oud in this kind of has like characteristics or qualities that reminds me of sandalwood, creamy woods, so freaking sexy. And for the price, yeah, amazing. Last one, this is a bonus fragrance. This smell 
smells like Tom Ford's Oud Wood, my favorite of the, them all, really. It's a Western take on Oud and probably one of the safer options when trying to get into Oud fragrances. It's got dried fruits, it's sweet. It's got a muzzle, really, around any animalic facets for Oud. It's kind of this Oud Melaki type of Oud, and it's called Wood Noir by Rehan. Simple as that, my favorite interpretation, the best interpretation on Tom Ford's Oud Wood. Lasts easily eight hours. You spray this sucker on about six to eight times and you're set. Wood, dried fruits, simple as that. Really good stuff and very mass appealing and easy. It's one of the easiest wood fragrances for a lot of people in the West to jump into. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, oud based fragrances. There's some for women, there's some for men. Honestly, a lot of them are unisex. I'll tell you right now, Shadow and Oudain, unisex. This is relatively masculine. This is unisex Oud Satin Mood. Believe it or not, even Imperial can be unisex for some gentlemen. Ignite Oud, extremely unisex. Saoud is unisex as well. Hartnell can be unisex for the ladies who like darker fragrances. This one is pretty masculine, Sheikh Al Oud. Apex, extremely unisex. I mean, yeah, a lot of these are unisex as well. Hopefully that helps you in any way. And if it did, make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button. And until the next video, peace.